What's happening everyone and welcome back to a brand new Assassin's Creed Mirage video and in today's video I'm going to be telling you how to unlock the Hidden Ones Sword and Dagger as well as all of the upgrades for those as well as the extra wilderness gear chest locations. We're going to kick this video off with the Der Kuragalzu gear chest. Now what you want to do is head to this area of the map and head to this specific synchronization point. Once you're there you're going to want to jump off the synchronization point and perform a leap of faith down into the pool below. Then if you head up the ramp into the cave system you will have a short cave to follow. There will be enemies in this cave. I had previously dove down and took out the ones in the entrance before I started recording this video and I have actually already collected the dagger from this location at this specific point in time so there are less enemies for me. But once you take the enemies out in the main entrance you will have to take two more out in a second room and they aren't really too difficult to take out none of the enemies in this specific cave are really that difficult in my opinion i don't think any of them are actually armored maybe one is but i can't remember exactly so once you dispatch the enemies in the entrance and the enemies in the second room there will be a wall you will need to use an explosive on to get through so if you follow where I'm going in this video, I do show you where to get the explosive oil jar to throw at the wall. You will have to move a rock out of the way of the entrance to the room where you get the oil jar though. But once you have it, you just simply head back to the second room in the cave, throw the oil jar at the wall, and it will explode, allowing you to pass through it. I'm just doing it to show you what you would have to do. Then just follow the cave system round, and it is pretty straightforward. You can't really get lost. You will eventually hit a dead end. But if you turn left, you will see that there is a rock for you to climb over. And it is in this room that the first chest of this video is for you to collect. Now, like I said, this chest did contain the dagger for me. I have seen online that people have been reporting that the dagger spawns in different chests. So maybe it's just the first one you come across of this specific list of chests gives you the dagger or the sword. I'm not sure how it works, but if you follow the guides, you will unlock both weapons and all of their upgrades. Again, there are enemies in this room for you to take out. They aren't too difficult. If you assassinate them, you do get through them quite quickly. And then in the center of the room on the pile of gold, you will find your first chest of this video to get you up and running. The second chest of this video is the abandoned Caravanasari gear chest. And you want to come to this location on the map and then you will see it when you get close to it. Once you've gone inside and defeated the enemies, you want to follow the path I am taking to get up to the window to allow you into this building. I don't think there is any other way in. That's why I've shown this bit, because you need to follow these steps. Like I said, there are enemies actually in the courtyard for you to defeat. I made an absolute mess of fighting them, so I didn't want to show it and embarrass myself, to be honest with you. But once you're inside, you want to stand on top of this grate. And if you look through it, you will see a breakable bar blocking the door to the room where the chest is. Once you've destroyed it with a throwing knife, simply climb back up to the window, drop down, and then drop down again, and you'll be outside the front door, and you should just be able to walk in. Now, don't do what I did and accidentally pick up a corpse, because it just slows you down, and it's really frustrating. You can also take an oil jar into the room, which is why I have one outside of the door, as there is an explodable wall at the back of the room which simply just takes you to another area, which isn't important for this video, but I wanted to do it just to see what was out there. But you can see, as soon as you walk through the door, the chest is right in front of your face, so you can't miss it. And this is one of the simpler ones in this list of the chests, which allows you to unlock the hidden one sword for Basim in the game. For the water mill gear chest, you can fast travel pretty much straight to it if you head to this location on your map in the game, and you wanna to go to this specific location because you need to pick up a key to get into the actual chest. Now you wanna just drop down into the water like I have and you'll see there are things for you to collect underwater. This does include the key to the chest. And once you've collected all these little bits and pieces, it can be a bit of a faff to get out of the water, which I experienced when I was diving back in it all of the time like an Olympic swimmer. Now, once you have the key, you wanna head in this direction, follow exactly where I'm going. I've already found the chest at this point, but when you do drop down into this hole, there will be an object blocking the door and there will be an object that you have to pick up because it's blocking the thing blocking the door from moving. Once you've moved all of that out of the way, you can go inside and pick up the hidden one dagger upgrade schematic from the chest and that is the third one complete. 
For the fourth chest, you want to head on over to the Winter Palace and you want to head to the northernmost tower. This is exactly where you need to go on the map just to help you out. Now, when you get here, you want to head down the steps and you will see a note on the wall and that's how you know you're in the right place. If you do an Eagle Vision mode, you can see a breakable object that you need to hit with a throw knife, which allows a crate to drop down inside of the room and destroy a destructible wall, allowing you to gain access to this area. Simply drop all the way down the floor and then follow the wooden stairs up to the now open door. You walk through the door, you can climb up onto this wooden shelf and you will get your fourth chest of this list that allows you to get the hidden one dagger upgrade schematic again. For the fifth chest, you want to head to this location on your map. There isn't anywhere near that I'm aware of to fast travel to, so you will have to make the journey yourself, I believe. Now, once you arrive at this camp, you just want to head on over to the tree, which contains a platform and the chest you are looking for. If you follow me and where I'm going, you will be able to get to the chest pretty easily without necessarily engaging with anyone who is around the area. I do get spotted, but nobody actually attacks me and I manage to leave pretty quickly after opening the chest. But you will see that the chest is just on this platform here in the tree and gets you the hidden one sword upgrade schematic and you can simply leave from the tree as well. For the Southern Camp gear chest, you wanna to head to this location on the map. And when you get here, you will find that it is an enemy camp. So you will have about five or six enemies to take out. I took them out. And then the chest itself is at the back of the building under this tarp. You don't have to have any keys or anything to get in. It is pretty obvious and easy to spot once you are there. Now for the Northern Oasis gear chests, you want to head to this area on the map. You can also fast travel to the synchronization point, which is going to make things easier. And if you do, this is exactly where you go in order to access these chests, as it's a little bit more complicated than the previous ones. It's not straightforward. You have to head into the lake and swim underwater to access a cave. And then you have to navigate the cave system to get to the area where the chests actually are. So if you follow what I'm doing in this video, I have tried to make it as simple as possible to show you where you have to go. But bearing in mind, I didn't 100% know myself where I was actually heading. But once you dip into the water, it does become pretty obvious because there is a bit of a drop or cliff face in the water. If you just head down into that cliff or that chasm and then at the bottom you will see that there is a bit of an opening that you can head into it is still quite a bit of a swim when you reach the bottom of that drop but you shouldn't run out of air i think i got there with quite a bit of air left and you can obviously see when you get to an area where you can head up to the surface and get your breath back now once you are in here i will show you where to go from this point as well because again it's just a little bit complicated as it can be quite a dark cave. So you just want to head in this direction. There's not any like twists or turns or anything like that, but you want to head up those ramps. If you head down into the water, there is nothing there. But if you head up the ramps, it does take you in the right direction. I started to use my torch because I was really struggling to see. Like I said, it was very dark. But for this cave as well, you do actually need to pick up some shards to access the goodies, the treasures in this particular area i think i have one out of ten at the moment i don't have them all but i will be doing a video if you guys want on how to collect all of these shards to gain access to all three of the items that are in this room you can access one for two shards then you can access another for three and then you can access the final one for five i think you can probably do it in whichever order you want to i'm not 100 percent sure but i would definitely recommend trying to get all 10 of them rather than going backwards and forwards it will just save you a bit of a trip so if you have followed this video you should now have unlocked the hidden ones sword and the hidden ones dagger in assassin's creed mirage along with their upgrade schematics which will allow you to level up both blades to level three to get them at their max damage and max defense as well as the other bonuses they do offer which i believe are poison bonuses which is quite cool and i must admit these weapons are very good in the game so i hope you found this helpful and i hope it's helped you level up your hidden ones weapons in assassin's creed mirage but that is it for today's video so please do let me know down in the comments section below if you have enjoyed this type of guide on assassin's creed mirage and also let me know what guides you would like to see me do on the game in the future if you have enjoyed this video and you have found it helpful make sure to smash a like on it to show support 
for this type of video on the game on the channel and for the game on the channel in general since it is pretty new. If you have enjoyed the video and you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe to be kept up to date with all future Assassin's Creed Mirage releases but other than that we'll see you in the next video.